Previously on Luke C in a HGV. So we're just about to go over that um, massive bridge now that I mentioned earlier. In fact, you can probably see it on the dash cam over there towards the right-hand side. It's absolutely massive. We go so high up. <coughs> we want to overtake this lorry because he's going nice and slow. There's a lot of traffic building up. Just maintain a gap. But yeah, no, it's really really massive really high up it is and i'm not the biggest fan of height so when i first went up there it did uh, freak me out a little bit not gonna lie now i want to go over into lane two thank you very much i think i need to be in lane two anyway I need to bear right in two miles so i either need to be in lane two or lane three Here we go, this is the bridge. We're going up. All right. ETA was half past 10 when we left, now it's 20 to 11. So like I said, I'm not gonna assume I will be there till half past 10. I'm gonna have to wait until I'm on the M3. And then I might even stop at the services, get a 15 minute break in, do a print out there. At least then I can re-evaluate how much driving time I got left and then work out if I can do a run to Evesham and get back to the yard again or not. To Evesham it takes, takes two and a half hours at least, depending on traffic. And then when if you take in an account for moving around in the yard, you need three hours drive time to get there. And then it's about an hour and a half back. So you need four and a half hours drive time spare to actually do the job from the docks so I can only have done five hours is that right yeah five hours driving is all I could, could do by the time I get to the docks and it takes two and a half from here to the docks and I've done two earlier it's four and a half so it's half an hour in it and I got caught up in traffic so we're probably looking like I can't do it. So I suspect I'll probably just be taking something back to the yard. But we'll see. Or well, I could have a, a local run to do first and then take something back to the yard. We'll see. Yeah, that's the bridge. That was uh, not as high as it was last time. <laughs> I mean, it is the same height, but it doesn't feel as high because now I'm used to it. But it is high up, very high up. Anyway, let's crack on and let's get to Southampton and maybe we'll stop and have a break on the way there. See you soon. Hello, we are nearly in Southampton now. We've been driving for two and a half hours and um, we're about, I don't know, 10 minutes away, 15 minutes away? Yeah, about 15 minutes away from the docks. We found out what we're doing next. We've got to get loaded um, and we're going up to Evesham. So we'll be going past our yard up to Evesham and then come back down again and park up for the bank holiday. So obviously I'm off for four days. I'm off Thursday, uh, sorry, Friday, which is tomorrow. And I'm also off Monday as well, obviously as well as the weekend. So a nice four day little break. Um, normally that would be a good thing, but the girlfriend's got like a whole list of things for me to do around the house over the weekend. We've got to go B&Q and buy all sorts of stuff. So fence paint and all, yeah, loads of stuff. So. I will be busy over the weekend, that's for sure. I've got to smash up some walls outside and take some stuff to the rubbish tip and yeah, loads to do. But yeah, that's um, what we're going to be doing next. We're going to make our way to Evesham. We've got some blue blue emergency lights in my mirror. Looks like an ambulance. I've spotted it already and there's still vehicles in lane three. There's another one in lane three. The ambulance is literally right behind you, mate. And you're still in lane three. There we go. Just people don't check the mirrors. That car is still in lane three. 
I know he's by Geneva. You should just, as soon as you see the blue light, you just get over out of the way, give it room to get past. Not leaving it to the last minute, because that ambulance driver there, and he's going to have to think, oh, is he going to move or not? Just get out of the way. I spotted that um, ambulance when it was like half a mile behind me still, do you know what I mean? Never mind. Um, yeah, so it's quite miserable. This morning it was sort of cold out, then it went really sunny on when we left London. Now it's miserable in Southampton, it's all rainy and cloudy. Wonder what the weather's going to be like up near Chowton and Swindon area. Let's, let's find out later when we get there. But yeah, no, um, we are running very tight on driving time. Very, very tight. I've told them I've got enough time to do it, but <laughs> it's tight. And this is, and it's on a 10 hour drive as well. So yeah, we, we, it's well, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Gonna have to wait and see. Um, I've already done some workings out, so <clears throat> it took me two hours and 25 minutes to get to London from Basingstoke. Two hours 25. And we just happen to be on two hours 28 now. So about the same sort of time, but we still got to get back to Southampton. So it's now 15 minutes. And then by the time we actually do the driving around and that in, in the, the docks, I reckon we'll be nearly on five and a half hours driving in total time. So uh, yeah, five and a half hours total time, which means I've only got seven, eight, nine, ten, four and a half hours driving time left to get up to Evesham and back down to um, our yard. It normally takes about two and a half hours to get up there and an hour and a half to get back, so that's four hours. And then it leaves me half an hour spare time. And I've got to do a little bit of manoeuvring when I get there, chop the trailer. And um, if I get caught in traffic, then yeah, it could really screw me up. So time is not on my side. I need to hope that there's no traffic going up and I also need to hope that I get in and out of the docks before I do five and a half hours total driving time. I have given a little bit of extra just in case. Um, I assumed it would be on three hours after this drive time. We're on two and a half now. And like I said, we're about 10 minutes away now. So I'm assuming I'm doing no more than 20 minutes driving in the docks. But we'll see. Time, like I said, time's not on our side. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we're gonna have to park up and then get a lift back with someone. Someone's gonna have to come and get me and drive back. But hopefully it won't come to that. Anyway, I'll see you when we're loaded. Don't know if you can quite see that on the far right hand side of the dash cam, but that is a massive queue. I've just gone past a traffic accident. There's about three cars involved, all smashed up. Okay, we're just leaving the docks now. Here is the situation. <clears throat> I have not got a lot of driving time left. In fact, I've just worked it out. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll rework it out. I got four hours and 43 minutes worth of drive time. That was when I was in the docks. Four hours, 43. So, in, thir in 13 minutes time, I will have four and a half hours drive time left. What I hope to do is, get to, is to get up to Evesham and back down to our work in four and a half hours. Now that is possible, that is plausible to do that. It's two and a half up there, an hour and a half back, which is four hours. It gives me half an hour spare. But that accident has massively cocked things up. So I need a 45 minute break because I'm on three hours of driving now, so I can only do another hour and a half before I need to have a break anyway. I need a 45 minute break. So I'm gonna pull into the um, round, Roundham services on the M27, have a 45 minute break, and I'm hoping that the accident on the M27 will then have cleared up. If it's then cleared up, I stand a much better chance of being able to do it. <laughs> but time is massively, severely against me, and I am gonna struggle getting back I get it dropped off, no problem at all, but I am going to struggle getting back to the yard. So it's going to mean one of two things. Either I'm going to need to have a night out, well not even a night out, just rest for nine hours and then drive back late tonight, like 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, something like that. Or someone comes in, uh, drives it back for me on their card, their taco card, and then I'm off duty. But we'll... Uh, 
we'll assess we will assess the situation and across that bridge when we get there but what I plan to do is get to random services whack it on brake do a print out and just double check how much driving time I got left because it was 4.43 when I was in the docks so I'm assuming it's going to be close to 4.30 maybe just above 4.30 when I actually get to the services so we will see Right, break's nearly over, we're on 44 minutes at the moment, so we're just waiting for it to tick over. Uh, the sat-nav is saying that the traffic is clearing up. There is still traffic there, but nowhere near as much as there was, in fact. Yeah, there was like 20 minutes worth of traffic, now there's one minute worth of traffic. And uh, there's a bit of traffic up Winchester as well. But um, yeah, that was a good idea to come and get your break, my break now. I just so happened to have exactly four and a half hours left, so... A uh, good thing about having a 45 minute break is that now I can just rely on my clock for how much driving time i got left. I know once it gets to four and a half, that's it, got to be parked up. So um, yeah, we're on 45 minutes now. Let's crack on. I've um, just finished editing the last vlog and it's currently rendering uh, on the bed behind me. So. Um, yeah, that's going to be up over the weekend as well. So hopefully there'll be two vlogs this weekend. That's my timer telling me that my break's up. Right, let's crack on. Sat and have a same two and a half hours to get there. And then we've got a, it's about an hour and a half back, so that's four hours, got half an hour spare. The only downside is I might need to get some fuel on the way past Swindon. I'm not sure yet. We will see. But uh, yeah, let's go. Right, we're on the A419 and we are heading towards Evesham. In fact, we are just about to go past Quicklade right now. This is the Quicklade Junction. This is where I would be getting off to go back to the yard, but we've obviously got to go straight on and do this delivery first. So that's what we're doing now. A little bit of a problem. Uh, Birdlip Hill is always a bit of a nightmare around about this sort of time in the afternoon. Um, so according to my sat-nav, there is a 14 minute delay going down Burglip Hill, which ain't, ain't too bad. It's not, not an issue, I can manage with that. But there's also a second delay on the M5. Appears to be an accident according to my sat nav, and there's a 33 minute delay. So if I go that way, we're talking a 45, 50 minute delay easily. And I ain't got that time to spare. So I'm gonna have to go the same way I went last time I went to Evesham, which was yesterday. Or the day before when was it was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday uh, so i got to go that way which was going coming off at sirencester going past the uh, burford services and going up via stone the world bought on the water that sort of way so that is the way i'm going and then i think it's the a44 to evesham going that way and that's going to save me according to my sat now 47 minutes like i said i haven't got 47 minutes to spare i'm on an hour and 35 minutes driving now um, so yeah, <laughs> it takes an hour and a half to get back, uh, which means I've only got an hour and 25 minutes to get there. And on this current route, it's an hour and 47, so it ain't happening. We do need to take, there's ever so slightly longer way around to get there, but it's going to be much, much quicker. I wasn't going to run out of driving time. Time is not on my side. We've also just filled up, well, I say filled up, we've got some fuel. We stopped off to get some fuel in a yard. I um, don't know whether I should really say, but basically we get fuel now in, in a different yard. So um, we now got to go to that yard to get fuel. So that's what I've done. <laughs> so I filled up some fuel. But when I say filled up, I mean only put half in. He recognises me from the bags. Yeah, I've only put half the fuel in because I got to fill up on Tuesday anyway. Um, if I filled up now and go up to Eastern and back down, Tuesday morning I'm going to want to fill up so I've got a whole tank just in case I'm out for a couple of days. So I've got to fill up Tuesday anyway, so I figured I'd just put half the tank in now and then do, do fill it all up on Tuesday. So that's the plan. Still a 47 minute delay on the M5. Got, just gone down to 45 minutes, but it's still 45 minutes I ain't got. So we're going cross country. Right, so we're getting there, we're 15 minutes away now. Just got to go down these uh, bendy roads. We're on a, we're in a place called Fish Hill at the moment. Sort of like elevation going up and down, up and down. My ears have gone. 
can't hear properly. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go around these corners, and like I said, we're 15 minutes away, so we should be there soon. I've, uh, I'm weighing about 30 ton. No, hang on, how much do I weigh? 15. Yeah, I weigh about 32 ton at the moment, and I'm going up a hill um, faster than the cars are. Like, and it's a steep hill as well. I don't know, there's something, there was something wrong with the car, there was blue smoke coming out of its exhaust, so I can only assume it had an engine malfunction or something. But if that's the case, it shouldn't have been on the road. But yeah, it was proper crawling up the hills, and it had a car behind it with, it, with its hazard lights on, sort of following it. <sighs> Never mind. More bendy roads. Glad I went this way, 100%. I've had a look at the sat nav, and there's still um, still traffic on the M5. So we've definitely saved a lot of time going this way. We're currently on 2:25 on the clock, and we've got, like I said, 15 more minutes to go. So we should have more than enough time now to actually get back home as well, as long as the traffic on the M5 um, isn't bad going the opposite direction. Because um, yeah, it's probably going to probably take longer going back this way. We'll see. <sighs> Getting tired now. Right away, let me get this box off, get a new one on, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, trailer is finally on. Um, I completely forgot that they didn't tell me which trailer to pick up. So I didn't ask them which trailer I needed to pick up until I was actually here. And it's sod's law that while I was here, the person who deals with it is on their lunch break. So I've actually had to unhitch the trailer and then wait for 20 minutes just to find out what trailer I'm bringing back. But, oh, never mind. I was here half an hour longer than what I really wanted to be. So uh, it's not the end of the world, but never mind. We're on our way back to the yard now. ETA in the yard is uh, 10 past four. So all things considering, it ain't that bad, is it? So, never mind. Make ourselves back to the yard now, make our way back there. If there's no one on the wash, then I'll wash the truck. If not, then I'll probably come in Monday and do it. Who knows? We want to turn left here. Have you left enough room for me? Let's soon find out. Plenty of room. So yes, that's it. That's uh, the end of today's video. We've been to London and back. And we've been up to Evesham and then we're going back down to the yard again. So that's that. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully there'll be more vlogs in the future. So uh, stop messaging me saying, when's, when's the next vlog coming out? Where are you? Where have you been? I'll upload them when I'm ready. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to upload for the sake of it and then there'll be rubbish content. Do you know what I mean? So I will be uploading. I'll try and upload once a week still. It's fine. But we'll see. Don't want to overcommit. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.